In Massachusetts, over a half million residents rely on private wells for their drinking water. However, unlike public water systems, these wells are not subject to any statewide regulations or requirements for routine water quality testing. Many residents who rely on private wells are consuming water that may be unsafe. Naturally occurring contaminants in well water can include substances such as arsenic, E. coli, radon, and uranium, which can lead to both short-term and long-term health impacts. From 2020 to 2022, RCAP Solutions conducted 502 water quality tests across several Massachusetts towns which had a high concentration of private wells. We discovered that approximately 32% of wells had levels of contaminants exceeding state health standards and or suggesting potential health risks. Man-made PFAS contaminants have also posed a growing concern. In fact, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection's recent private well PFAS sampling program found that approximately 5% of wells had levels of PFAS exceeding state health standards. These toxic forever chemicals can contaminate groundwater sources and cause a slew of human health impacts. RCAP Solutions has partnered with the Health Foundation of Central Massachusetts and several other organizations to form the Coalition for Safe Drinking Water. This co coalition is currently engaged with key stakeholders and government officials to advocate for sensible, health-based regulations for private wells and financial resources for homeowners who discovered contaminants in their well water. An environmental bill, known as an act promoting drinking water quality for all, would initiate the development of these regulations and would better protect homeowners who rely on wells for drinking. My name is Arthur Allen. I live in Princeton, Massachusetts. I was actually surprised to learn that there were no statewide standards for private wells. Now that I know, I'd certainly be in favor of legislation for well safety standards and, and testing because, you know, there's, there's different contaminants, you know, everywhere. Some of them are naturally occurring. Some of them are you know, introduced from spills and things and, and you just you just never know when you're buying a house, you know, what you're what you're getting. I mean it's certainly associated with any one of those things that turned up in our water. So I think it's very important to have legislation like that in Massachusetts. I'm Joanne Michaud and I live in Lakeville, Massachusetts. I think that any kind of a financial assistance program that's sponsored by the state would be beneficial for homeowners with private wells and I definitely think that the government should be involved in the monitoring and remediation of private well water. The state government owes it to its citizens to protect them by facilitating clean water supplies and however they can do that. My name is Ed Munter and I'm from Berlin, Massachusetts. I'm kind of glad that somebody from Massachusetts is doing this and I hope it leads to you know, a change in legislation. I'll be the first person to tell you I like a simple, smaller government, but you know, in some cases, I think it's necessary you have to have it. There's just some things that you just have to be regulated or you know, God only knows what could happen. And I think there's plenty of examples, even here in the state of Massachusetts, where contaminants have been found in water that people assume was safe. My name is Jorge Gutierrez and I live in Boxborough. I don't think that the attitude of, well, if I don't know it, what could be wrong, is the best in this kind of uh, situation. So I think it would be helpful if there was some kind of regulatory efforts to make sure that our drinking water is safe. My name is Christopher Carlson and I live in Westminster, Massachusetts. The importance of any legislation promoting regulations concerning private wells would be helpful in the fact that you wouldn't have to suffer the way my family has suffered. It affected every, every aspect of our life from wanting to just take a clean shower and be clean during the day to wearing clothes that didn't feel grimy and to not have your clothes ruined. I mean, the, the list goes on. My name is Josephine Wachtorski and I live in Westminster, Mass. I think the legislation that they're talking about, it's great. It is really important. People don't realize how important it is to have water. Water is a staple of our lives. We need it to survive. And everyone should have clean water. Everyone. For more information about private wells, potential contaminants, why regulations are needed, and to join the Coalition for Safe Drinking Water, please visit whatsinyourwellwater.org.